know that most of what you've seen, read, or heard about Billy the Kid is untrue? My name is Gail Cooper. I'm a medical doctor and forensic psychiatrist. My specialty is murder case consultation for the defense. For 20 years, I've used my expertise to uncover the real Billy the Kid. Researching over 40,000 pages of archival documents and books, I've written the revisionist history. It's shocking, it's liberating, and I've written books demolishing the hoaxes, hijacking the history. My talks will share with you what I've found. Cover-ups, misinformation, and fakery, to use Old West lingo, will bite the dust. This talk is about my Billy the Kid docufiction novel that brings to life my revisionist history. The book's title is Billy and Paulita, the saga of Billy the Kid, Paulita Maxwell, and the Santa Fe Ring. The first Billy the Kid history book I wrote is titled Billy and Paulita. It's a docufiction novel. My goal was creating a virtual world with chapters titled by dates so a reader could enter the 19th century reality. It used extensive research, over 300 expert consultants from firearms to astronomy and visits to the historic sites. It's a story of how the West was stolen ending America's dream of a frontier with limitless freedom. It's America's Romeo and Juliet, with the teenage romance of homeless Billy Bonney and heiress Paulita Maxwell. Their love was star-crossed by the Santa Fe Ring, the land-grabbing, murderous political cabal taking over New Mexico territory. Paulita's parents were Ring victims, its bosses cheated her parents, Lucian Bonaparte Maxwell and Luz Bobian, out of their fabled two million acre land grant encompassing northern New Mexico and southern Colorado. Her family was exiled to the desert wasteland of Fort Sumner, a past military outpost with dark history as a concentration camp for Navajos and Apaches. There, Lucian soon died. There, in the Maxwell family mansion, the converted past commanding officer's quarters, Billy would be killed by Pat Garrett in an ambush abetted by Paulita's brother. Billy was a ring target as the bicultural freedom fighter regulator hero of the Lincoln County War the last and bloodiest of the grassroots anti-ring rebellions in the 1870s. He was a fearless testifier against ring criminals like the murderers of John Tunstall and Houston Chapman and Commander N.A.M. Dudley, who marched on Lincoln. And with other regulators in that war, Billy had shot down ring-eyed murderers. He was also a rustler against Ringites, a reminder that he could instigate another uprising. The Ring outlawed him as Billy the Kid. It blocked his pardon from Governor Lou Wallace. It pursued him with the Secret Service. It made Pat Garrett a sheriff and deputy U.S. Marshal to kill or capture him. It tried him in a rigged hanging court. The backdrop is the tsunami of profiteering, racist greed flooding the nation. Hispanic land grant owners were robbed of their land. Native Americans were hunted in genocidal Indian wars and imprisoned on reservations. 60 million buffaloes were slaughtered by hunters like Billy's eventual killers, Pat Garrett and John William Poe. Billy was converted from dangerous delinquent to the last of the anti-ring freedom fighters by martyrdoms of his employer, John Tunstall, and Lincoln County war leader, 
Alexander McSween, by the revolutionary spirit of the war's Hispanic fighters, by the wisdom of past slave George Washington, by the courage of Fort Stanton's black cavalrymen testifying against their treasonous commander, by newspaper accounts of rebel Apache chief Victorio slaughtered with his band soon before Billy's killing, and by never emancipated Navajo slave Delavina, owned by the Maxwell family, who loved Billy like a mother or a spiritual guide. A mystical subtext is the cosmic battle of light and darkness, of good and evil. Billy, having fought the ring for freedom, having escaped an inescapable jail and hanging for freedom, finds ultimate freedom in the current carrying him back to Fort Sumner, to Paulita, and to the destiny of his choosing. Paulita won't force him to flee the territory, though she'd go with him, and accepts their victory as refusal to yield to the ring. Billy's death merges him forever with the young hope of the frontier, and his fame lives on to expose the ring to history's judgment. And Paulita, pregnant with Billy's child, forced into marriage, escapes it in five years. Staying in Fort Sumner where Billy was buried, she never remarried. When she died, she fulfilled her dream during Billy's long imprisonment in which she and Billy were separated by a raging torrent, giving way to a calm, shallow river, easily crossable in 40 strides. Now she lies in the Maxwell family cemetery, separated from Billy's grave by that short distance. The conclusion harks back to half Chickasaw, Fred Tecumseh Waits' observation to Billy his fellow past Tunstall employee. Waite said, Lincoln County's a moral proving ground. Evil here is so powerful, it breaks people where they're weakest. Billy and Paulita didn't break. They're still powerful enough to break the still existing Santa Fe ring.